Hi, I'm Chris Mutchler, VCDX257 with VirtualElephant.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade Tanzu Kubernetes Grid inside of your VMware SDDC environment. So let's get started. All right, the first thing that we're going to do in the video is actually upgrade Tanzu Kubernetes Grid within our VMware SDDC environment. So we're going to start by going to the VMware Customer Connect portal, and we're going to download the new packages that we need to upgrade inside of our Bootstrap VM that you'll remember from the original video that we set up. Now, my Bootstrap VM is an Ubuntu box, so I'm going to download all the packages that are related to Linux. So go ahead and click All Products, and then scroll down until you see Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. From there, there are three files that you're going to want to download. First, you want to download the tarball for the Tanzu CLI for your preferred choice for your Bootstrap VM. Again, mine is Linux. From there, find the OVA that you want to use. Now, I'm using the Ubuntu OVA, and I always pick the most recent version of Kubernetes. In this case, it's 1.23. Once you have the OVA, you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see the kubectl for Linux and download that as well. Now from there, we're going to upload these files onto our Bootstrap VM and then switch over to a terminal window where we'll start to install them. Now before we get to the terminal window where I show you how to upgrade all the Linux packages on the Bootstrap VM, first let's log into vCenter so that I can show you that I've already uploaded the OVA file that Tanzu Kubernetes Grid is going to use that's now version 1.23.10 of Kubernetes when it performs the actual lifecycle of the clusters within our environment. You can see here that I've made sure that I've converted it to a template. As long as you've done that, you'll be good to go. We're now ready to install and upgrade the packages needed for this new version of Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. Now, this is going to be the same regardless of what version you're running and what version you're going to. So what we're going to do is actually first install kubectl, the new version, 1.23.10. You can follow along here on the screen and you can see that first I check the existing version that's running, perform the upgrade, by installing the package and then actually checking it to see that it's running the new version. Once that's done, you're going to want to go ahead and extract that tarball for the Tanzu CLI, go into the CLI core file, core directory, and then from there, install the new Tanzu version. And again, on the screen, you can see I checked the version before and then I checked the version afterwards just to make sure that everything is running as it should be. Now, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and actually upgrade the Linux packages for YTT image PKG and some of the others within our shell window. And this is going to be the same process that you used when you actually installed the bootstrap server. And you can check that out in the previous video, which I'll link below. Go ahead and just do that. And then once you're done with that, then we're going to be ready to perform the first upgrade on the management cluster. Once we have all of the Linux packages upgrade, it's time to run Tanzu init to be able to initialize all of the new versions for 0.25.4 inside the bootstrap VM. And then once that's done, and you can see here on the screen that it takes just a minute or two to actually upgrade all of those plugins. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and run Tanzu management dash cluster upgrade, tell it yes. And then we're going to watch the process run as it upgrades our management cluster to the most recent version of TKG. Now, the time that it takes for the management cluster to get upgraded will depend on your own VMware SCDC environment, how fast your storage is, how much capacity there is on your hosts. For me in my lab here, it took about 35 minutes for it to perform this. And then once the upgrade was done here, you can see one of the things that I make sure that I do is do a kubectl get pods minus A to make sure that everything is running and has been restarted properly, as well as then running a kubectl get nodes to actually see that it's running the new version 1.23.10. Once that's done, then we're ready to actually upgrade the workload cluster within our environment or workload clusters, depending on what you have. And then here I'm going to actually run a split screen so you can actually see in the bottom of the window the get machines, kubectl get machines minus A, so that you can see it actually provisioning the new machines. And when it's doing that, it's actually cloning a new virtual machine using that OVA that you uploaded earlier to be able to install a new version of TKG. It doesn't actually do an in-place upgrade. It's actually a rip and replace. And so it does this rather quickly. The workload cluster runs, and then once that's done, our environment is finished, and we now have the latest version of Tanzu Kubernetes Grid running inside of our VMware SDDC environment. 
In this video, we showed you how to upgrade Tanzu Kubernetes Grid within your VMware SCDC environment. One of the major advantages of leveraging Tanzu Kubernetes Grid within your enterprise data centers and at your edge locations are the lifecycle capabilities of TKG. As you can see, upgrades can be performed seamlessly to applications running within your Kubernetes clusters. This enables you as a cloud architect or an enterprise organization to be able to operationalize Kubernetes in a way that many other offerings aren't capable of doing today. I hope you've liked this video. Please like and subscribe and leave comments below. And I look forward to talking to you next time. Thanks.